And lastly, and I think that this is a very important point, let's remind that be, before the 2020 Telenor case judged by the European Court of Justice, where de facto the European Court of Justice stated that zero rating uh, uh, offerings are not compatible with net neutrality, until the 2020, 2021, many network operators in Europe were offering uh, free and unlimited uh, video to their customers as one of their offerings. So it's very curious to think that at the same time, operators may, may complain about collapsing network for congestion, but also offering unlimited video, which is supposedly <laughs> the, the cause of the congestion. So uh, it, it, the, the, two, the, the two cannot be true at the same time. It's, it's not possible that there is collapsing networks and at the same time, zero rating keep on going with people allowed to enjoy unlimited video, right? So this is, I think this is, is a little bit curious that the consultation is presented like this. And while I, I totally sympathize with the underlying problem, uh, tech giants need to be taxed differently, need to contribute more to uh, public expenses, uh, one need to, to, to redefine the way in which they shift profit and erade uh, and erode uh, their taxation base. It's called profit shifting and base erosion for this reason. So that is the main problem. But the fair share is not a solution to this problem. Is It creates another problem uh, that does, does not solve the first problem. So I think uh, a more uh, rational and well-informed debate would be in the benefit of everyone, all stakeholders, especially European consumers.